So it's happening. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, I'm Gali. I'm head of product for Editor X. And I'm Moore. I lead the Editor X group. So ever since I was a child, my way of communicating has always been through visuals. Anything I can't explain, I draw. And it's so much more than a communication tool for me. Design and aesthetics impact everything that I see and do. And before leading the product for Editor X, I was actually managing UX and design teams. So it's been a dream of mine to be on this side of the fence, creating the exact product I would have wanted to use as a designer. Well, as much as I like design, and I do, I love design, <laughs> for me, it's always been about problem solving. I spent a career, a lifetime, uh, solving product engineering problems and puzzling over math riddles. I know geeky stuff. But it came in handy because in building this editor, we needed to solve a bunch of really complex product problems. Mm -hmm. And I think we did, and I believe what we'll share today is really the best of both worlds, both smart design and beautiful engineering. Let's begin. Let's go. So first, let's think about those top brands in the world. When they want to build a site, the amount of depth that they need requires so many people, so many teams. They need designers and developers and UXers and marketing and so much. So in order to show you the robustness of Editor X, we invented our own top brand, a high-end uh, high watch company called Malchino. And we took the challenge of creating a site for them that promotes the launch of their new hybrid line of smart watches. And we built it from start to finish, single-handedly, all on Editor X without a developer. Now, the Mulchino product is really sophisticated. Their technology is cutting edge. So we wanted their site to be impressive in terms of design, but also have a robust e-com solution behind the scenes. So I'm really proud of what we were able to create. It's powerful, it's bold, it's edgy, and the watches are presented beautifully, and especially there's a sense of expanse. And I was able to make unique design decisions for every device. So. So this is how it looks on desktop, but let's see the mobile site. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, so I had this design in mind, and I achieved exactly the vision that I had. So Mo, let's go to the editor and show how we did it. Let's show the editor. So this is the same Malchino website within Editor X. Let's take a second and examine the works. We study it a little bit. First thing you'll notice is the expense, how we cleared away all obstacles and left the canvas really clear for the creative process. As you need them, you'll pull in, you'll slide in really panels for functionality. This, for example, we call the inspector panel, is where you uh, define all your uh, responsive layout behaviors, sizes, etc. Um, to experience this single website in a variety of device types and viewport sizes, you use the resize handles, as Gali is doing now. <laughs> Up there is the breakpoint toolbar. We package the editor with uh, three predefined breakpoints, viewport sizes, so you can style for specific devices. However, you can pull up yeah, this management panel and add as many breakpoints as you need and change the boundaries of breakpoints. <laughs> so there will be a lot going on about breakpoints in today's presentations because I think we did something super unique here. We managed to package and abstract away these technicalities of CSS media queries, but still keep complete freedom at your hands. So that's really amazing. I'm really able to design anything that I want on any device that I want. Let's take a look at this third fold with the giant typography. So there are a lot of designers here. We take typography very seriously. Um, so I want no matter what uh, who visits the site, no matter what device they're on, what screen size they're on, to get the same impact here. So when building this, I just used the drag and drop, placed everything freely on the canvas. And as you can see, we have a smart docking system. Now, this docking system knows what are the closest edges to the element and docks them. So and this keeps their position relative. And it also means that they respond to the screen size. So it means that sometimes we get some overlap, some line breaks. So let's take control here. Let's go into the edit text. So what you see now is that the text is on a fixed size. It's in pixels. 
Let's change that to a sliding scale. So we're going to choose the small size to the biggest size. Mo, well, can you do 60 to 110? Great. How's that? Now, okay. Now let's fix up the sentence a bit. And now when we resize, you will see that it slides really smoothly. So now that each element, yeah. <laughs> So now that each element looks great on their own, let's make a relationship between them and get the spacing right. So we're going to select both elements and stack them. Stacking them puts them in a flex box, which knows what elements are inside of it and in what order to push them. Yeah, very cool. And now when we go to tablet, what you will see is that we chose a cascading approach, which means all the decisions we've made on desktop cascade down. Now, what if on mobile I want something different? So here, I want to I wanna give it a more contrast. Mo, can you try to think like a designer? You heard a lot of designers today. Maybe, maybe you can uh, choose a better color here. What would Gali do? <laughs> Let's see your skills. That? Uh, no. Try another one. <laughs> Let's go with white so we get a really strong contrast oh, here. Okay. Does this pop? Yeah. Well, now it pops. Perfect. So let's go back to desktop and see cascading in action. So what you see that all the decisions we've done on mobile have not affected decisions we've already made on desktop. So let's go into the technology in the core of the product. Well, I think you should do this one. I can try. <laughs> so this next fold in the story, the Malchino website, we used the Editor X layouter. Layouter is what we, uh, what we call our packaging for Flexbox. Actually, another smart way we package Flexbox technology. Now, Flex, you guys know, has been around CSS for quite some time and always get a little bit uh, too complex or too intricate to get right. So we packaged it and made it super accessible for you. Let's see it in action. So this fold has five main items, right? The main image, the secondary image, the main title, etc. And this makes it an ideal situation for flex layouting because you're happy for these items, independent items, to float around each other. And as you can see, as we resize the canvas, layouter always solves it very well. So we always have a good layout for the behaviors between the items. Um, but as a designer, it's always a work in progress. So here, we might want to, uh, to try something else, right? So let's see how we, how we make changes in layout there. So sometimes it takes a few takes to get the right layout. So let's take a look at how we can change this one pretty easily. So I'm going to grab this item all the way on the left, and I'm going to drag it over here. And just to make it right, I'm going to make this item just a bit smaller. I think now it's pretty balanced, yeah. what do you think? So Powerful tools where you show uh, really your design intent and Layouter solves it for you. Let's see what we get on mobile. Okay. So as promised, it's solved on mobile. But maybe you want something else here. <laughs> so they, they seem to like it. Maybe I shouldn't change it? No. Let's move so, on. No. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go into, as you can see, the main image is not so main anymore. I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to go into Manage Layout. And I'm going to select a very common layout for, uh, for mobile. I'm going to choose a one column. Yeah. And now, now it looks good. Even I can <laughs> see the difference. So let's, let's gently resize up and see. Okay. Yeah. So tablet and desktop kept their mosaic layout that they had before. So all in all, I think you'll agree, it's an unprecedented combination and a powerful one of drag and drop, pixel perfect design when you want it, and smart flex layouting done on your behalf when you want that, right? So I love that, but for the next fold, I want a lot of freedom because I'm going to make really intricate decisions on every device. So what do you suggest? I think I know what you need. <laughs> so for the next fold, we use the Editor X grid tool. Right, this is how we package CSS Grid, and it gives you a completely different creative process or creation process. In a nutshell, CSS Grid is a two-dimensional framework like you throw on your canvas and gives you precise control over where components drop, dock, and float around each other. 
Right? So let's see it in action. Okay. So this next fold, we're kind of joining mid-design. We skipped some stages. Gali has already added this stack on the left. You remember stack. And the title in the middle is rotated. That's good. To complete it, we need to throw in uh, three images. But first of all, we'll carve out the space. We'll throw in a grid, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So apply grid gives you very sensible presets, but we'll go with a custom now, custom grid of three columns by two rows. Thank you. You can see the thin white lines denoting where uh, your framework is. This is your two-dimensional grid. Let's go into edit grid. So edit grid is all other mode of Editor X, where you get to do your advanced uh, design decision, very granular decisions over sizes and uh, CSS. You can add and remove columns, you can reorder stuff, uh, and you can size columns with uh, the full gamut of CSS units for sizing. Everything is, is available. What we'll do here is pick a 2FR unit, a fraction of two, in effect, the right-hand column will always be half of the section. You can also see Gali resizing the bottom row using a drag handle to make it smaller than the top row. This is what makes sense for our design now. So we're done. We have our CSS grid defined, and we're ready to add the media. The first and main media will go into, in, into the right-hand side, and will cover the grid area of the two right-hand columns. We'll use this handy shortcut to stretch the image, like so, and now it always covers this grid area. <laughs> now, the text got hidden. Do you want to fix that? Yeah, sure. Okay. It always happens. Uh, <laughs> so let's see what we got. As we resize, okay, wait. What we want to do here is to have the image always crop the same way. We want the same area, interesting area of the image, to always show in the same place in every viewport. So let's pull up the focal point tool. Using the focal point tool, <laughs> but wait, you can make sure the image focuses always, well, on the nose. Okay, let me find can you the, hit nose the nose here. No. Okay, we got it. And now we resize. It's on its best behavior in every viewport. <laughs> So we're, we're almost done, right? Yes. We have two smaller images to add here, the two small watch ima images. And what we want, the effect we're going for here is for the two images to float freely in the canvas but never overlap. So what you'll see Gali doing is drop each one of the images into its, all, its own grid cell and dock it to a grid line, thereby guaranteeing that with the movement they never overlap. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So in the layouter, which we used a second ago, we had a smart suggestion for mobile and tablet, right? Editor X took care of that. However, here we chose to use grid because Gali wanted complete control over the design. Yeah. And with great control comes, <laughs> you got it, great responsibility. <laughs> and now she needs to take care of mobile, right? So let's see the mobile side. Okay. I'm guessing you don't want like that. I think I'll make a few changes. Go ahead. <laughs> so as designers, we are always expected to create magic no matter what the brief is. So I feel like this is really amazing because the boundaries are gone. You can really do whatever you want here. So I'm going to show you a few things. Uh, I'm going to change this complete layout. I'll start with unstretching this image. And I'm also going to hide these two images I don't want to display on mobile. Here we go. And now I'm going back into the edit grid mode, which we've just seen. And I'm going to change the grid completely for mobile. I'm going to remove these two columns and keep it to one column and two rows. Great. Now I'm just going to grab the stack over here. I'm going to move it all the way down. Great. I'm going to move this image over here. I'm going to stretch it back. And just let's make this one a little bit better. Cool. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate the text and give it a different color. Can we give it up to Gali? <laughs> <laughs> not, not many people can design live and narrate the work. That was, I mean, awe. Not nerve-wracking at all. 
<laughs> That's good. So there's one website, and there is a com completely different art directions for all the view for all the breakpoints. In fact, there's a all other uh, CSS grid for mobile, right? So yeah. complete freedom here. Mm -hmm. So so much complexity going on under the hood. There was so much CSS HTML created during this demonstration, and uh, all this power, and you never had to worry about it. This this power combination makes this my favorite feature of the editor. I get that. <laughs> so talking about favorite features, I would love to share mine. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll go there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so for the next fold, I want to introduce to you the Wix design system. So Wix has over 170 million users. It's a great way for us to grab data and learn what layouts people need, what designs are trending. We've taken all that wisdom, and with our best designers, we've created a huge selection of pre-designed sections. And they come in tons of variety. We have welcome and about and services, so many. And they all come in the color palette of your site. Now, this really helps in the design process in a few ways, actually. The first one is design inspiration. The second one is layout blueprint. You can grab anything from simple to complex, anything you like, drop it on stage and see how we built it, take it apart, do it on your own. And lastly, for bootstrapping our process. Great. So, <laughs> so this one is a great example of how you can use many layouting tools at once. This is actually a layouter with a grid inside of it with a stack inside of that. So you can get really complex. And the real thing that I love so much about this is that it comes with built-in responsive behavior for every breakpoint. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> so as we said, Malchino is launching a new line of watches. Obviously, they're going to need an e-com solution. Now, you've seen a lot already about the revolutionary design capabilities of Editor X. But on top of that, it comes with a full range of business solutions from Wix. You can add on a store, a booking application, other applications with all the complexity and business logic that these entail. You simply drag a store onto the site and use it. Let's see what happens in the Malchino website now. This fold is a watch collection. Really, we're trying to show off the watch inventory, right? So how, how we went about this? is we went to Business Manager and created a database of watches, right? All the prices, images, uh, descriptions, etc. cetera, are there. Let's go back to the website. Now we took this data set and bound it to a repeater. This is an extremely powerful dynamic website building mechanism where you define and design as freely as you want a single item, and the repeater, well, it repeats. Right? So as you data bound your data set to this repeater, you have your watch collection designed. So that's, that's already a lot of power. In Editor X, what happens is this, this is combined with the flex smart layouting that you've seen just a second ago. And let's see what we get. In the desktop, the watch collection is a card layout with three columns, right? So let's resize. Stop. It's a two column layout, right? Out of the box. But wait, in mobile, as you resize, it will be a? A slider. It's a slider. <laughs> so, Mo, well, I think we really built a site for a top brand. You feel it? I agree. <laughs> and we saw a lot today. So let's, let's review. <laughs> we saw a flexible canvas with limitless width, right? Limitless options. We saw many smart layouting tools, custom breakpoints, as many as you want. Mm -hmm. We saw tons of rich content from uh, our design library. And on top of that, the business solutions, COVID, I, I think we have a game changer. I agree. And you've only seen a glimpse of what you can do. I'd love for all of you to try it out. We actually just opened registration for an exclusive beta. So go to editorx.com, sign up. I can't wait to see what you do with it. And that's it from us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>